What's up guys? It's your boy Troy and I'm back to another video. Uh, I'm here right now. Now in Salisbury, North Carolina, picking up my first load. Very first load. Um, right off of 85. I went down and uh of course you gotta read your signs. Because the shipping, uh, it says shipping and receiving right there. But then down the road a little bit, it says dead end. I mean, it's right there at the beginning of the road. But, um, I mean, if you've seen that dead end sign, you, you would have thought, oh, I can't go down that road. But it, uh, you, it was, I was able to go down there. And, uh, of course, uh, the shipping office was down there. But they didn't load me up down there. They ended up sending me across the street to another dead end. Um, so I'm picking up some kind of chemicals or whatever, I guess. Taking that on to Missouri. And, um... Got to see where I'm gonna stop it tonight. Uh, I'm pulling reefer, but I didn't need. I didn't. I don't need my reefer for the for the load. So um, I guess it's some kind of dry load. But I mean, even though it's chemicals, you know, I don't really need my reefer. So that's why it's good to have. A, you know, I mean, that's the advantage of having reefer. You can you can pull like you know refrigerated loads, dry loads, whatever you know. Um, so we about to get loaded up. It didn't look like he had much to put on here, but it's. It's, it, it's like it's gonna be like 41,000 pounds. So I'm gonna go down to the truck stop, weigh it out, and we're gonna get moving to uh, I'm gonna stop in Lenoir, Tennessee, fuel up, and we're gonna head on. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Peace. What's up, guys? Just stopped for fuel. Uh, had a fuel stop here in uh, Lenoir, Tennessee. It's about 650. I'll probably push about 30 more hours and head on, carry it on in. Um, got about eight hours to go to Missouri. Wash the baby up, baby all shining, and walk my other baby. Took on a little walk and um, whatnot. But uh, we're about to head in and push it on down the road a little ways. And I'll see you guys soon. What's Peace. up, guys? So I'm currently in Pleasant View, Tennessee. Uh, I was heading down, uh, I think 24, um, and I seen on the map that it, uh, the highway was closed. And usually, I mean, most of the time I pay attention to it, but sometimes that thing says the highway's closed. Like, la like a, a couple months ago when I was uh, teaming, it said the highway was, highway was closed, but I went down there and it was opened up. But this time I listened, I got off the exit, take, took a little detour, and um, I was about to get back on the, get back on the highway but it's, um, this this ramp right here, they got this ramp right here closed off too. So luckily enough, there was a shell station they had to pull off at. And um, I seen a truck park here and he said, and I went in and asked the guy, cause I went to go buy some to drink. He was like, yeah, we got truck parking. So you can park by there. So I'm just gonna wait it out here tonight. And um, it's about 9.30, I'm gonna wait it out here tonight and get up about 7.30 and push it the rest of the way. I got about six hours, so I hit Missouri. But um, luckily this place I had parking because I don't know what I would've did. Uh, I could've kept down four, I think, what is it? 441 us 441 but i didn't see no way to get back on the highway uh if i would have kept going on down that road and then i seen some signs that said uh, no trucks but i seen there was trucks going down that road i don't know what they would do you know but luckily enough minute another truck driver pulled off so hopefully they got it cleared up they said somebody jumped off the bridge but i don't know that's the store clerk says so i don't know but um and it's a shell so it's not really a truck stop but they do got truck parking so i'm thankful for that I'm about to feed my little doggy dog and uh, walk her and then get in the bed and catch some Z's. But I'll keep you guys posted and um, I'll get back at you guys tomorrow. And they got you. They got you. They got you. What's up, y'all? It is Tuesday the 1st, about 12.44. I got about three hours to go until I reach my, um, she wants to run and play until I reach my, uh, the truck stop. I'm going to stay at the night. And then I deliver to Mario at like 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, easy day today. I had about, I want to say seven hours to drive and I was going to knock another hour off last night, but the highway was closed down. So I ended up having to stay at a shell station last night. They had truck parking, thank God. So, um, I'm going to let her run around a little bit and probably get back move, moving. Yeah, look at you, look at you. Leaves all on you. You love this, don't you? <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in a few. Peace out. Jeez. 
just stopped for the day. It's about 3.40. Uh, my delivery is like 32 minutes down the road. I probably get up at eight and um, get myself together, walk my dog a little bit and um, eat some breakfast or something and head out about nine, try to get there about 9.30. And I wouldn't get that situated. Then I got to pick up about, I think like that thing, like two hours and 30 some minutes away, I think. Um, I was trip planning, it's like two hours and 30 some minutes away. Uh, I pick up, uh, then I'm heading to Mississippi. And that's about eight hours. So, see what I can do tomorrow, how far I can head, head, head that way. And um, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Um, I don't want to really get done late tomorrow, but I can't pick that load up. I like to get it. Look. If I can stop early and get up at three, four, five, and head on to my uh, my delivery or my next place, I, I, I love to do that. But um, that it don't deliver till ten, so I maybe stop a little late tomorrow. But depending on what time I gotta have it, that the next load delivered is when I'll you know see when I'll shut down and whatnot. So we'll see about that. But I just trip plan and whatnot. And we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. So far, so good. Um, Fleet manager's pretty cool. Uh, he already had my load set up for, uh, like I said, um, he had my load set up last week for this week. The loads I got this week was already set up last week. So, and I'm on a dedicated account. So, um, most of the time, like he said, well, like uh, my fleet manager said, which, which the, the, I think the person that's the head of my terminal, which is in Statesville, North Carolina, she said uh, most of the time you are the, your fleet manager. If you're on dedicated, they already have your. Uh, your asset manager will already have your um, loads ready for the next week. Just let them know when you need to be at back, when you want to be out Monday, and you're going to be rolling on. So um, that's what I like about it. I know, you know, I can go ahead and trip plan and, you know, go ahead and see my route and look at my route and stuff for the, for the following week uh, ahead of time. So uh, that's what I like about that. Um, still trying to get used to this optimized idle thing. I'd rather have an APU. You know, it's more, uh, I'm not going to say it's quiet, but. You don't have to worry about that truck rumbling, you know, when it starts up and whatnot. But I mean, it's, it's cool. But um, I just hate how, you know, sometimes it takes forever to kick on. But it is what it is. I'll get used to it. Uh, let's see what else can I tell you guys. Uh, that's about all for right now. I mean, it is what it is. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna walk my dog for a little bit and head in and take a shower. Here at the Petro in Missouri, I don't know what city I'm in. Uh, maybe, heck, heck if I know, some some city in Missouri. But uh, I'll get back to you guys later. Yo yo. Um, here now in uh, Jefferson City, Missouri. Got the red light getting unloaded. And I think I'm heading like an hour. I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure it's like two hours down the road to pick up another load, and that's going to Mississippi. First load was a success. Um, let's, just get, let's just get through the rest of the week and park this baby at home then the whole week will be successful uh, but so far so good uh, they leave you alone, nobody bothers me I, feel, I haven't heard from him since last week um, through the, uh, through the uh, tablet yeah he'll text me I mean, he'll send me a message or whatever if I need to do anything or whatever but other than that so far so good get this little chart back up in there alrighty um yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I might do uh, this week and vlog maybe next week. And just take you along with me so you can know the odds and ends or whatever, you know. If you're just getting into it or if you want to come over here or, you know, what now. I'm not trying to recruit anybody. I'm not trying to say, oh, follow me over here. No. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, maybe you're looking at coming over here and you want to just see how it is. So, I just make the videos to help help people out. I don't, I don't need any money from you guys. I don't need no referral money and anything like that but hey if you want to put my name down then you can do that but i mean i don't really care about all that kind of stuff so i mean i don't even go on my paycheck stub and look for it but if you want to put my name down you can but let me just give you guys a few more videos then you can start doing it or whatever but um until then i'll see you guys later peace long day long day at my fuel stop, guys. <laughs> and it's a mess over here, it's a mess. We gotta wait on the side of the road. Oh, it's like three or four trucks at each fuel island, and it's a bitch, it is crazy. It is, it's small and tight. It's, uh, 
but it's just a pilot or a flying jail uh something i don't know what the heck it is but um get fuel here then probably hit about three hours down the road and um probably pull over and just get on up in the morning and drop and hook that load but um we moving up so let me go but I, i'll probably see you guys tomorrow peace What's up guys? Just got to my, uh, just dropped my load off, gonna drop and hook. Um, up here in Jackson, Mississippi, about to check this trailer. Uh, last night I stopped at some rinky dink little truck stop that I don't usually like to stop at. So you know me with Avery, I stopped at a lot of terminals and whatnot. But, um, or if I couldn't, I stopped at a truck stop. But that was something I wasn't used to, but it was peaceful, you know, it ain't, it wasn't a lot. I know they got mad at me because I came through there with my loud reefer. Uh, on continuous <laughs> but it was cool nobody bothered me or anything but um i'm about to pick up here the fuel stop they gave me yesterday uh to stop at a little at, at this one place i had to i had to go that way because i don't know i wouldn't be able to make that stop if i don't if i went that way but the roads were crazy i mean uh like one-way roads up and down curves all this crazy mess it was ridiculous um i wish i would they would have kept me on a major highway but anyway i took a bunch of back roads that was only that was the only thing that I was able to stop at because there were no um can't can't pull off on the exit ramp, which there weren't no exit ramps anyway because it was a back road. Plus um there was no rest areas, no truck stops. That was the only thing that was available. Plus on trucker path, they got little little peas on there for parking, but I'm not gonna. I, sometimes it might be like an open lot or something. You it might be trespassers. I don't do that, so I never stopped. Luckily, I was able to find some. Had a I had an hour and 38 minutes left on my clock. I was running 38 minutes out. And I'm um, just leave an hour on there, but you know, I couldn't find them, so I didn't want to take no chance. I just went in and stopped it. We drove three hours this morning. I'm here about to drive an hour and 55 minutes to um uh what is it, Jackson, Tennessee, I think something like that. Or some, I'm not I think it's Jackson, Tennessee. Then I'm gonna head five hours down to Atlanta, then I'm gonna see what they got for me after that. But um we're about to roll out, picking this trailer up, and um it's gonna be a nice day. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a. I thought the next place was gonna be a live load, but it's not. So, and I don't have to pick it up till five. It's one right now, but I asked my this. I asked my uh, asset manager if I can go ahead and pick it up now or well, early. He said, "Yeah, but you know, you might get there and it still might not be ready." But um, we're gonna see. Hopefully, it is. But uh, I'll get back you guys. Get back at you guys later. What's up, guys? Currently in Atlanta. Of course, every time it's time for me to get home with any company, they send me to Atlanta on a Friday. But anyways, I have to uh, just checked in here drop my load off i was only going to be an hour and 29 minutes away from this place i mean away from my first drop off today but i hit 290 minutes of traffic uh on 40 then up in chattanooga on 24 i hit about uh 360 but i went i took a little a little back road um that my gps told me to take and usually i don't take back roads but Garmin said I could. I, it, I was good. I, I looked. I checked over it while I was in traffic, and it looked good. So I took that way. It was curvy, some mountains and stuff. But another truck driver came behind me, so we were communicating with each other, and we made it up out of there. And um, we cut through traffic, uh, and we were back on track. Um, it was only about a couple miles down the road, and we were back on track. So I just pulled over at a rest there and stopped there. I was gonna stop, have paid for parking and everything, but I canceled that. So I was kind of, I was kind of mad about that. But um, anyways, we're here now, about to head home, just picking up, making sure my seal number and everything is intact. I mean, my seal is intact, make sure the number is correct. And we're gonna mosey on. Let's make sure. Yep, make sure everything's intact. I'm gonna come back here and check these lights after I hook up and whatnot, but I wanted to make sure it was right before I hooked everything up. But um, so far, so good, a good week. Uh, he had my asset manager that's when i wanted to go back out and i said uh 7 30. he was like monday or tuesday i'm like i could have came back out tuesday but no come back out monday eight o'clock i want to get the miles rolling i want the miles give me the miles give me the miles so come back monday at eight coming back out monday at eight o'clock uh, like i said so far so good so far so good uh, we're gonna see how next week holds up and i'll vlog next week too but until then if you got any questions you know where to find me peace